And then uh, it hit me. Probably that is what I needed to implement in my game engine, a visualization tool that can actually help me visualize what the AI is doing. Hey guys, so I just wanna share with you uh, some progress that I've made with my game engine, the Untold engine. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in a long time. And the reason why um, is because um, for most of 2022, there was really no progress uh, with my game engine. It w and it was not due to lack of effort. It was actually due to lack of direction, lack, to, of, you know, lack of vision. Um, I, I really had no idea what I really, really wanted to do with my game engine. Um, you know, part of me wanted to make the game engine a football, soccer-based game engine. The other part of me wanted to try out something else. Um, you know, I was going through this constant battle of what to do with my game engine. So what ended up happening was that one day I would implement systems um, that, you know, went nowhere. <laughs> they made me lose a lot of time. Um, another day I... I would tell myself, no, we're doing a, a football-based game engine. Um, and I would implement systems without not really thinking through what is it that the engine really needed. Um, and again, I implemented systems that went nowhere. Some of them were very complicated to implement. And at the end of the day, I just deleted them because, you know, I knew that something was, something was missing. Um, and that went on for most of 2022. I hate to say that, but I think that the last time I actually updated my engine was sometime in March. Um, and after that, it just went downhill from from, 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 the, from the point on. Um, and, you know, it was, I was, I started to think that my game engine was going to die uh, because I just, I had no idea what to do with it. Um, so I was a little bit concerned about that. And, you know, but I kept, you know, finding, like, thinking about what to do with my game engine. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, and I am not lying, a couple of weeks ago, it hit me. Um, I started thinking way back, you know, when I would do soccer games um, as demos for my game engine. The one system that I remember that gave me the most problems and headaches was the AI system. Basically, I could not visualize what the AI was doing, right? I wish I had a tool that was, you know, allowed me to visualize what the AI was thinking or was about to do. Um, and I think that, that having, having something like that would have made, you know, soccer development a lot easier. And then uh, it hit me. Probably that is what I needed to implement in my game engine, a visualization tool that can actually help me visualize what the AI is doing. Um, and four days ago, I started doing that. I had some free time um, and I started coding and I implemented three visualization tools that I think are gonna be very helpful. Uh, right now, they are in a you know, very primitive state, but the point is that now I have a roadmap and I know where to take all of this. So let me go uh, through this tool so that way you understand what's going on. So the first tool that I want to share with you is this tool where I can grab any 3D model that represents the soccer field and I can uh, divide it into different zones. Um, the zones basically represents the area where the player plays in, right? Basically the player should not move outside from that area. That's the area where he should just play. Um, uh, and basically, the AI will use these um, zones to determine where to, where to move the player to and also to keep the structure, the formation of the team, you know, uh, well, structure, right? Um, so this is an important tool that I wish I had. Uh, believe me, it looks simple, but once you start coding in soccer games, this is crucial. Formation in a soccer game is it's everything, all right? So um, then the second tool that I developed was a way to visualize the, uh, the Voronoi diagram. And how do you use the Voronoi diagram in a soccer game? Well, basically, um, the AI uses the area of, of, of the Voronoi cell to determine whether a player is being surrounded or if it is free to uh, dribble, right? For example, if the area is small, it means that the player has a really small area to play. 
um, and most likely it means that he's been surrounded. Uh, if the area is big, it means he has a lot of area to play and to dribble the ball, right? So the AI uses that, this information to make a decision what to do, either to pass the ball or to keep dribbling. Um, and I wanted to visualize that. I needed to see what was going on, right? So that's what I did. Um, then the third tool that I did, which goes hand in hand with the Voronoi diagram, is the Delaunay triangulation. Um, basically, it will tell you, it will, it will tell the AI which teammate is closest to the active player, right? And the AI will use this information along with the information from the Voronoi diagram to determine which teammate he should pass the ball to, right? If the Voronoi diagram, if the Voronoi cell of a player is small, right? It means do not pass the ball to him, pass the ball to this other guy. Um, so that's how the AI uses this whole, all of this information. So now I have these three tools that I think are going to be crucial um, in helping me develop a soccer game more efficiently and faster. They are in their primitive state, but the point is this. The point is that um, this is what I needed. Um, from this point on, uh, the next couple of versions are going to be basically uh, focused on implementing these visualization tools and implementing other tools that I'm going to need. For example, how to synchronize the animations with the ball movement, all of that, so that way the game becomes more, you know, more real, more fluid. Um, so I'm very excited for for all of this. It's kind of funny that throughout the whole year I could not figure out what to do, and almost at the end of the year. Um, like four days ago, right now it's December 29, like four days ago, I like, let me do this. I think this is going to work. Um, so I'm actually very happy for that. Um, well, guys, um, thank you for watching. I just, I just wanted to give you a quick update about, you know, what was going on with my game engine. It's not that. I'm still, I'm still going with my game engine. And hopefully uh, one day can become a really great game engine. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.